Okay, it's day 73 of my ginger germination experiment. So as you can see, um, there's not that much progress. Uh, they haven't grown all that much taller. I think the foliage has gotten longer. You can measure some of these leaves. The younger plants, some of these plants are just shorter and they're not growing as tall. They're not shooting up vertically like this or you know, this one or this one. So these came out of the same rhizome cutting and this is basically sort of medium size, this one is short and you know they're just not shooting upwards and likewise this is short I think these are from the same rhizome cutting too and over here you have this weird sinkhole kind of phenomenon I'm gonna make sure I pass those things up every once in a while although I think now that I've applied insecticide in the water tray and killed all those fungus gnats, um, it's probably not a big deal. So I've been watering a lot lately and refilling this tray. Let me kind of shake it a little bit. Yeah, so there you can see the water level. Um, so yeah, these plants are adequately hydrated. Okay, so I should measure some of these leaves just so we can get a sense of the growth. And this one's maybe seven and a half inches. This one's eight inches. This is, I don't know, 7.25. This one's even longer, 8.25 inches. So that's pretty long, you know, uh, 20 something centimeters, um, 21 maybe for the longest ones. And let's see, if I were to measure this entire thing for height, uh, you know, 21 inches is not far off. So there's been growth, but it's not at a very fast pace. Um, you know, it's basically very, very slow and that's to be expected. You know, people have described ginger as a slow poke plant that is both slow to germinate and slow to grow and can reach a meter high or more. Um, some reports may be up to close to two meters. So ginger is reported to have these pink flower buds that turn into yellow flowers and you know it's a very potent spice. Um, when it's young it's more fleshy and mild but when ginger gets very old the rhizomes they become almost completely dry and the juices that are inside are very very potent with spice so there's a variety of drinks and foods that are made with ginger and one of my favorite sodas is ginger ale okay it's day 81 of this ginger germination experiment so these plants haven't really gotten all that much taller I have no idea how deep the root system is um, or if they're getting as much water as they need. You know, in the beginning I was getting the impression that the roots are these very slow moving, slow developing creepers. So I don't know if the roots are deep enough to get all the water they need from this scheme. Um, this isn't as big of a pot. It's only 25.4 centimeters in diameter compared to the other two. And these smaller plants really haven't gotten much taller. So I'm thinking I can just try watering from the top a little and see what that does. Um, because I'm not sure just watering from the bottom alone will give this stuff the water it needs. Okay, so I'm going to try using this spray bottle and water from the top through this sand. And I don't want to pour because that would totally disrupt you know, the sand. I think one of the more effective ways is to spray right at the base of these stalks so the water just goes right down and percolates into the sand. Okay, so that's, you know, maybe 100 mLs of water or more. Um, it's 
kind of hard to say exactly how much but it's focused in the areas around the base of all these stems so hopefully these smaller plants in particular will get the, the moisture they need and also I'm gonna fill up the water tray at the bottom and I think I'm gonna apply some more pesticide I see some more fungus gnats although I've moved all these plants outside so it's not really a problem anymore the other issue is perhaps I should keep this in the shade so let me try moving this plant to the corner um, perhaps it'll get a lot less sunlight in most of the day until the height of the afternoon and maybe that's exactly what this needs to keep growing it's day 83 of this ginger germination experiment so I move this to the corner where it gets a lot more shade and hopefully that'll help things out a bit uh, growth seemed really stagnant in my opinion so last time I started watering from the top as well as from the bottom and I hope that um, propel some growth that's why the sand basically looks all kind of uneven and wet now you can see at the base of the stems um, there's kind of a bump on the side and I don't know what that's going to turn into I hope I didn't you know make these things try to go into a rhizome production mode already by you know having a top layer of sand and soil that's too dry and likewise seems like there could be some activity here it's markedly different from you know these two stems or these over here okay it's day 85 of this ginger germination experiment so I moved it so that it's slightly in the shade now you know it's almost 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time and there's still plenty of water in the tray I'm gonna top that off but last time I also watered the sand itself which gives it this wavy appearance so you can still see a fungus gnat here those are largely from the other plant trays um, there's still fungus gnats but I don't really care these days because I have all these plants on my balcony so it's not as big of a nuisance and a lot of them probably just leave into the wind my overall impression is that after I move these ginger plants into the shade they look greener and healthier or that could just be an optical illusion because it's darker but that's just how I feel and as I discussed last time I don't know if my you know underwatering has caused a little bit of rhizome formation so let's find out so here's one case um, not quite sure if that's like a bud or what dig anything up but it just seems like there's more biomass here you know and I definitely don't want to undo all that hard work I did with the sand but um yeah I just get that kind of impression that there's more biomass now if you look over here it's the same thing so I'm wondering if these are you know, already forming rhizomes or what the deal is. I think these are just roots. I don't know. I don't think that's, you know, new rhizome formation. It just seems like they kind of form a small bulb and stick out um, but you know I want to water again from the top just to see what this will do and if that'll promote more growth because I'm not sure this plant spa system can get to some of these smaller developing buds which have very very shallow roots so I'm just gonna water some more again okay so I just poured on a couple hundred mls of water onto the sand uh, the spraying that I did, that I tried before, I don't think that's enough water to get a response. 
and I also topped off this tray at the bottom so there's a little bit of overflow 